Hello, my flower. This is our first weekly news brief. I'm an XLC state employee with some journalism. Hi, I'm Bella Rains. Beginning with some weekly news on 5-21-2023. SBI agent Solaris is seen cuffing Dan Enforcement in a video recorded by Dan Enforcement himself. Right in the middle of danger where people are actively in the line of being killed during a protest. Then Dan is put in the back of the car and the SBI agent uses signs to take Dan to the Lander Police Department station. Solar is put on the Radio Times 123, Disorderly Conduct. The SBI agent questioned Dan without his rights being read to him, saying, if being shot at was your only concern, why did you say free Dan as soon as you got on state property? The governor subsequently ordered his release after. Let's head over to Bell with the traffic and weather report. Summer has arrived. The temperatures are very hot, the air is very dry and the sky is very clear. Almost perfectly clear skies this whole week, with almost zero rain whatsoever. Except highs of 95 and lows of 74 with it actually having peaked at 101. The traffic in Lender is a bit, is a bit built up, but only in most places and otherwise traffic is clear. Now we have here is a new fire station, Station 5 to be exact. Now we are going to interview FD people about the FD overall and the current inactivity that's going within FD. Hello Chief, um, so my first question is how are you feeling about all of FD's changes? Personally. I think NHCFD's changes are for the better. Uh, recently, we've had a time of inactivity due to the lack of development support from the central authority. The New Haven County Fire Department was told about a fire, a brush truck, pardon me, a brush truck that was supposed to be put in, along with some different apparatuses, well, changes to different apparatuses, pardon. Uh, NOAA has failed to do so uh, with Vans' departure from the community, as a lot of you guys may know. Uh, I believe this game does not have much longer left. There's no scripting, there's none of that, meaning the game will not go any farther. Uh, but I do feel the changes to NHCFD were necessary, and I feel that it is for the better of the department. Yeah. And uh, what is your opinion on all the inactivity has been, that has been going around lately within the FD? Um, you know... The inactivity in NHCFD, I personally wouldn't say is the biggest fault of the command or the NHCFD. It is the lack of support from the development. We have been told about different updates that were supposed to come. Monday, PP just got a new station, and I DM'd our Lord and Savior, Hail Noah McDougal, and I asked him. I said, so MPBS's pay is getting changed, but not the cars. And he goes, well, MPBS's change is a 10 second change. I said, uh, how about a PPD station? How long does that take? And, you know, we had a nice little conversation about that. So, I mean, all in all, Noah doesn't care about the game. Noah doesn't care about the group. He doesn't know how to run the group properly. Simple, easy, just like that. All right, and how do you feel about FD overall? I feel the NHCFD is doing a great job. You know, as mo as much as we may be quote unquote inactive, there's a still a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. I feel that right now, the biggest thing is once a development update gets pushed for NHCFD, the spiking will or the activity will just spike, and you guys will see more and more NHCFD. But you know, with more and more NHCFD comes, you know, no calls for us. The last call we had was, well, last proper call we had, I want to say was about two weeks ago, three weeks ago now. So. How do you feel about the command of FD? I feel the command is doing a great job. I feel there are some parts of it we could change. But right now, all in all, not too many issues have arisen from this certain command. And with the departure of our late assistant chief Div Drems and 
a lot of our deputy chiefs, bringing in new deputy chiefs and a new assistant chief, I found that the NH safety has strived off of that change. Yeah. And do you think FD is managed properly? I feel NH safety is managed very, very properly. Uh, right now, not a lot of changes going on. There's not a lot of issues that have arisen. There's a lot of good management teaching points right now. I have, you know, I personally have not had the most activity here because, well, I don't see the game going anywhere. And I'm not going to waste my time on something I don't see is going anywhere. Um, I feel right now the management's fine. Our training division has been doing their work. Our other command has been doing their work. Our assistant chief and deputy chiefs have been doing their work. So I don't see an issue with it right now. Yeah, and this is uh, uh, one special question for you as a chief. Are you gonna, is there any planned events going on with FD or any updates that you're gonna do with an FD? That's a good question, my friend, NX underscore LC. Right now, I can't list any. Mainly because without, you know, the best support, we don't have anything. I know there is a Memorial Day parade planned, and hopefully we will get our brush truck by then, but knowing this central authority, we will not. Right. Oh, uh, well, that concludes our questioning. Thank you for your time, uh, Fire Thank Company. you, guys. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions about FD. Okay. And if you want, uh, you don't have to answer any question that you don't want to answer. I'm just letting you know that. Alright. It's fun. Alright, so how are you feeling about uh, all of FD's changes? I mean, FD has had some good changes over the past couple months, I'd say. Um, we had the unfortunate resignation of our previous Chief Div, but we had L5 step in, who's done good so far. Um, but unfortunately, due to inactivity in the development team and not pushing updates for us it's caused the department to go downhill so we've had good and bad changes around here but overall good yeah and uh what is your opinion on all the inactivity that's been going around lately um like i said before it's mainly due to the lack of development support if we had a way to actually do our job properly i feel like civilians would want to call 911 and have us respond out i mean Everyone gets bored of just doing a car accident or, you know, having a heart attack down somewhere. If they could properly get trapped in a building, have us rescue them, it'd be much better for them, I feel. Right. And uh, just, how do you feel about FD overall? Um, we have good staff. Um, definitely, we are all a very friendly bunch here. I mean, um, that we've got our deputy chiefs who have all been working very hard to keep people active and trying to promote the department in various ways and we've got our captains who support us in all of those duties like Alexa who has been supporting the newest class of cadets and all that kind of stuff yeah and uh, how do you feel about the command of the fire department like are they bad or... uh, we have a very friendly command staff there is definitely no one I would say that needs to go of course there's always ways command can improve but we'd love to hear that from our actual firefighters that feel like we're not doing the best for them or not doing what we need to do yeah and uh, do you think fd is managed properly fd has a very different management style to a lot of departments i'd have to say you, there's no exact way to manage it it's always changing within the field um you can never predict what's gonna kind of happen on any call especially with people's uh, you know medical stuff like that so it's definitely managed in the best it can be there like i said if firefighters have ways for us to improve we're always happy to hear that. if the public have any ways that they would like us to improve we're always open to ideas uh, well that's all the that's all the questions i have for you today uh, I appreciate you being here and answering the questions. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.
I'm NXLC. I'm Bella Rains. Thank you for watching the MPBS Weekly News. Until next time.